the next question is two point charges plus 3q and minus 4q are placed at the vertices b and c of an equilateral triangle abc of side a as shown in the figure obtain the expression for first question the magnitude and the second question the direction of the, the resultant electric field at the vertex a due to these two charges compartment all india 2014 okay we are going to answer this question first we have to draw the electric field at the point a due to plus 3q charge then draw the electric field at the point a due to minus 4q charge as shown here after these two you can draw the resultant between these two electric field okay you can see the electric uh, resultant electric field here also mark the angle with the line e a c and mark the resultant direction is alpha okay then first we can answer the magnitude part okay we start now first we will write e a b magnitude of e a b is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 3q by a square a is the distance between them and 3q is the charge correct that is equal to 3 times 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 q by a square we can write like 3e the same way we can write e a c also 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 for q by a square is equal to 4 times e because 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 q by a square will be equal to e so for e now we can write the resultant e net is equal to you remember that equation right square root of a square plus b square plus 2 a b cos theta here you can see that the theta is equal to 120 degree i will show in this picture you see it is an equilateral triangle 60 degree 60 degree so there are two angles 60 degree you can see one is the corresponding angle one is the alternate interior angle so sum of them is equal to 120 degree okay we are going to apply that one here so in the place of a we are going to apply that is 3e whole square and in the place of b we are going to apply that is 4e whole square plus 2 into in the place of a and b we will write 2 into 3e into 4e into cos 120 okay and you remember cos 120 i shared with you in the previous video the value of cos 120 we have to apply here so is equal to e net is equal to square root of you know that 3e whole square will be 9e square right so i'm going to write that one here 9e square plus the second bracket will be 16 e square plus then just multiply that one so 2 into 3 into 4 that will be equal to 24 e square then cos 120 as i said before minus 1 by 2 okay just to do the addition of them so is equal to square root of 9 plus 16 so 25 e square plus you can cancel that 2 and 24 right on the term 2 so the result will be 12 e square but it will be a minus okay minus so the difference between these two e square will be e net is equal to square root of 25 minus 12 so 13 yeah 13 e square this e square we can take outside the bracket now so is equal to e into square root 13 okay now you can apply the value of e so is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by a square square root 13 we can write okay so the first part we answered now usually three mark question so one and a half mark ready now we will answer the second part that is the magnitude part okay so, sorry direction part so direction i am going to write the old equation what we used in the previous question that is the answer i told you when we study about the parallelogram law of vectors there was two things one is resultant magnitude of the resultant and direction of the resultant so direction of the resultant tan alpha is equal to magnitude of e a b sin theta the theta here is 120 so sin 120 divided by then magnitude of e a c plus e a b cos 120 okay we just want to apply the value of these two so e a b value we did already right 3 e and sin 120 we are going to apply here root 3 by 2 whole divided by e a c value we did before 4 e and e a b already did 3 e into cos 120 value we used in the previous part that is minus 120 then simple mathematics apply here so i'm just copying the numerator not doing anything on the numerator part denominator little bit work required for e plus 
3 e into minus 1 by 2 will be minus 3 by 3 e by 2. Then, okay. Then denominator do LCM work. So for e by 1 minus 3 e by 2, that you can solve now. Numerator copying again 3 e root 3 by 2. Then denominator normal LCM like 2 into 4 e will come first, right? So 2 into 4 e will be 8 e minus 1 into 3 e. So that will be 3 e. So I am going to write here 8 e minus 3 e divided by denominator c 1 into 2. So it will be 2 only. This is the time to do the reciprocal multiplication. So numerator writing. Okay, writing. Huh? Then do the reciprocal multiplication. So into. Okay, I did some simplification first 8 e minus 3 e. Okay. Just hold. Okay, reciprocal multiplication doing now. This is the time to cancel whatever repeating on numerator and denominator. So let me change the color. Okay, 2 and 2 cancel. E and E also cancelling. So what left now is on the numerator what left? 3 root 3. Correct? And denominator 5 left. Actually, we were writing tan alpha, you remember? Tan alpha. So, alpha will be equal to tan inverse of this quantity. So, tan inverse of 3 root 3 by 5. Okay. Okay, students. Just wait for the answer. That's all. You can leave the answer at this point. Okay, students. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. You can see this one. You can post any question. I will answer for you. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.